Hello guys, today we have a review of the Samsung TV which is 43 inch and with the Tizen S pre-installed. The name of this TV is Samsung uh, UE 43 T5300. So basically this is f uh, quite cheap and affordable uh, TV from Samsung which costs around $350 and it's just full HD TV which is uh, which is not that popular in 2022, but still working for cheap and not expensive TVs. So basically, let's see how Tizen S works in 2022, and let's see how the Samsung sound and all the other settings. So I recommend to start from the settings itself. So let's go one by one. We've got picture. The picture size is standard, 16 on 9. Uh, picture mode that you can select which is dynamic so the quality of picture for full HD is quite well have expert settings here which you can set up so I will not focus on it and just go one by one uh, about the picture also what I want to add that this TV it has uh, full HD and it has 1000 GHz actually so the quality is not that bad and it's made in Vietnam uh, it supports a HDR uh, that is also quite good and uh, basically from technologies it has pure color, motion, rare, contrast enhancer and all the other uh, that Samsung made so I will not focus on it. The sound, uh, it has two speakers, each speaker 10 uh, watt so basically not it's just regular speakers for such uh, cheap TV, so you can use TV speaker, sound mode is optimized, amplifying standard and expert settings as well. Wi-Fi speakers around setup, so you can select the uh, wireless speakers, connect via Wi-Fi, so it's quite regular in 2022. Uh, broadcasting, so it supports uh, DVC-C, DVC-S2, DVC DVB-T2, so all the standards it supports in Europe actually, it's supported by this TV. Uh, Alright, I enter the browser. All right, let's exit this now. Uh, okay, so let's follow up with the settings and finish them. General general settings, accessibility, network, system manager, basically nothing special. Apple AirPlay supported, of course, external device. So this one maybe may be interested, so you can connect uh, using HDMI SEC. This is also quite popular in such TV. Input device management, so you can manage your keyboard and mouses from here. And uh, I guess uh, it should support Bluetooth, but not sure whether it is. I think no, because it's still a cheap TV. Echo solution, so there you can set up uh, minimum brightness, energy saving mode, motion lighting and auto power off. Smart features, includes Outran, Smart Hub and the last apps and reset. So support, this we will, uh, I think, skip and terms and privacy skip as well. So let's go, what else we've got here? We've got the sources, TV remote access, which is quite interesting, let's see. So you can remote PC, actually screen sharing with your PC, also quite useful and it's actually secured by Knox, so you can use it with your Samsung devices, that is also quite nice, Office 365. So basically you can connect keyboard, mouse to this uh, TV before start and use it as a laptop. That is also quite uh, interesting features. Alright, let's see what else this uh, TV has. Uh, basically uh, apps, search, sources, uh, connection guide. Let's see connection guide. So it has uh, two HDMI, HDMI ports, one USB port, one optical port for sound and the other for your satellite. Basically, yes, you see it doesn't have any Bluetooth, it has HDMI, optical cable, Wi-Fi, you can connect by Wi-Fi the speakers as well, and video device, you can even use your AV devices to be connected. Uh, smartphone, so you have Apple AirPlay here, which is quite nice, smart syncs from Samsung and screen sharing so you can share a screen from your phone that is quite regular for such devices Apple AirPlay again, input devices, keyboard, mouse, gamepad game console even can be connected and external storage so yeah connection guide is pretty clear so let's move on search with skip mm, alright, uh, apps 
so basically we load in the apps it can this Samsung TV has so many apps that Tizen OS comparing to the others very similar so uh, it's including music video support let's open some video app that's supporting in my region so as you see you can find obviously Netflix and all the other apps IPTV apps some Apple TV app uh, various yeah just um, quite huge amount of these apps but you see now it's a bit loading not that fast uh, it's some laggy bit because you know this is really cheap TV for this price so let's say it, it won't work that fast as TVs for $1,000 but still it's not bad so as you see yeah, so many apps that you can can be installed so let's close them now and move on with others what else Tizen OS can offer to us so sport and games are here so let's see what kind of games they have they provide to us uh, loading so yeah World Wanderer, Super Candy City, Twitch yeah they even have Twitch app Bubble Jam so basically the uh, variety of apps is quite well so comparing to other TVs, even Android TV, it's very similar. Maybe on Android TV you can set up uh, more apps because you can set up regular Android apps. But here it's more than enough for for TV. Let's see what they have for education. Um, yeah, some online courses, some Muslim TV, Medcram. So yeah, downloaded apps. Uh, Spotify and uh, all the Prime Video and all the others that are popular in this region so basically you can have almost any apps that you can imagine here is it uh, top apps that you on your phone you have Deezer you have Tanin Radio Radio UK you have uh, some other Spotify app etc smart view enable connect to your phone and device so let's see here what Tyson OS offers yeah just some no-name apps actually weather smart life uh, content preview so what's this content preview oh all right so some other additional apps so basically you can find any app that you need you can use it uh, on this Tyson S I have got pre-installed Netflix, I've got a Prime Video, I've got uh, uh, Apple TV, Megago app, Sweet TV, Rakuten TV, YouTube, uh, Gallery here, pre-installed, Internet and one more app that's called... Uh, okay, it has no name now, I don't know why. <laughs> Alright, uh, Internet, let's try to use Google here, let's see how it works, the browser mode. So basically I'm on Google, let's click, I'm feeling lucky, just to see how fast it's loading. So I've connected to the internet by cable, it's 100 uh, megabits per second. So as you see, the browser is not that fast, but yeah, it's TV, so <laughs> not supposed to use uh, the browser a lot, you will use Netflix and other apps. For this one it works not bad, so now we have uh, some holidays from Google. So basically, yeah, it's working, not fast, a bit slow, but you can use it. If you, if you really need the browser in your TV, you can use it for anything. Let's open YouTube here from browser. Actually, Samsung browser is not that bad, but they have old school uh, remote control, which doesn't support mouse. So I think if you connect your mouse and keyboard, it will work uh, much, much better. But you see YouTube loading is quite slow here. In the browser, of course, in YouTube app, it will work much better. So let's close it and don't waste our time on this one. So basically, basically, I've used this TV for half a year, and I can tell you that it's really good choice for this price. I can get all the apps that I really need from from my TV. I can use, uh, I can share my phone. I can sh use uh, Apple TV. I can use. Uh, uh, sharing from from any Android phones which is quite well so I would say that TV works not bad and for this price it's not that slow it's still the good quality from Samsung the picture is really juicy 
So for 300 bucks, I really recommend to buy this TV. I don't think you can find a much better option. Maybe you can find an Android TV option that will work a bit faster, but the quality of picture still Samsung is one of the best. So thank you very much for watching and see you next time.